Thanks for tuning in to another physics lesson with Mr. M. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to add up resistors in a parallel circuit. Um, this video is actually an extension of the one that I've previously done um, titled How to Solve a Parallel Circuit. Um, students have trouble with adding up resistors in parallel, and so this video is specifically um, drawn to how to add up the resistors in parallel. Okay, so here we have three resistors, 11 ohms, 12 ohm, and 17 ohm resistors in parallel, and we want to know what is the total resistance of the circuit. Well, the equation that we use for adding up resistors in parallel looks like this. 1 over RT equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus however many resistors that you have. And so in this case, we have three resistors. And the reason why this is so difficult for students is because we're adding up the reciprocals of these resistors instead of just adding up the resistors as they are, just like you would in series. Okay, But with parallel, we have to add up their reciprocals. And that final answer gives us 1 over RT instead of the total resistance as well. So it's really a two-step problem. So let's go ahead and start solving for this using our equation. 1 over RT is going to equal 1 over R1, which in this case is 11, plus 1 over R2, which is 12, plus 1 over R3, which is 17. Once you add up these three fractions, we get a decimal. And I like using the decimals here. Okay, you could go the long route, figure out the common denominator, or you could just go ahead and plug them in the calculator. Okay, so when we add up these three fractions, we get this decimal, 0 0.233. If you're not getting this number, you're either not adding up the reciprocals, or maybe just to be, sh just to be safe, put in some parentheses around the fractions. Um, sometimes just using those parentheses um, is something that students forget to do, throws off the order of operations. Okay, so if it, if it helps you, put in those parentheses around those fractions. All right, once we've gotten that all added up, we still have not found our final answer. Because we don't want our answer 1 over RT, we just want RT, our total resistance. So because these are all reciprocals, the easy way that we can get our final answer is just flip our fraction, reciprocate the reciprocal. So what you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. So we're going to have to add a... Um, Put this over 1, because anything divided by 1 is still the same. And then flip this fraction as well. So our final answer, our total resistance, is going to equal 1 over 0 0.233. And when we plug that into the calculator, we get our final answer of, and I'm going to round this up, 4.3 ohms. That is our total resistance.